Hey everyone, it's Brianna and this is a special unboxing. Today is June 1st. Today was also the day I was supposed to buy Anime Expo tickets. And when I tweeted about it, I found out that a certain someone, looking at you Emma, bought me Anime Expo tickets. And honestly, I'm kind of blown away. First off, Emma, you spoil us and you do not have to do the things you do, but the things you do blow me away. I was planning on getting Anime Expo tickets after finding out about my internship, and it was something I was really looking forward to getting distracted, getting my mind off of what happened, because I'm still really butthurt about it. Yeah, I'm gonna open this package that she sent, and the reason I'm doing a special unboxing is because Nikki is going on a cruise, and she left this morning, and then she'll be gone for a week, and then she'll be here for a day, and then another week at Disneyland. So she'll be gone for two weeks, and we wouldn't be able to do a PO unboxing until after the 20th. And by that time, I probably should be registered for AnimeCon. So I'm going to open this special for Emma. Emma, seriously, you just made my day. I'm really fucking excited. So yeah, I do know what's inside this because she had to tell me before I went and spent my money and she would have wasted hers and I would have felt really bad. So I'm doing this for her. Oh, and there's a letter. Oh, and Beauty and the Beast. Oh God, the girl's gonna go crazy. Evermore's on here. I'll make sure it's safe. And she did explain that in her letter, she sent this two weeks ago. So in the letter, it says I'm going to my internship. Shocker, I'm not. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna read this now. Hey Brianna, I hope you didn't feel left out not going to Comic-Con this year. I'm sure the other girls will have fun without you, but let's face it, you'll be living it up in LA, fulfilling your dream. That's so much more fun. It's also gonna be hard work, sure, but nothing more rewarding but nothing rewarding is ever easy, and I'm sure you're up for it. Look at all of you accomplished already. Also, who wants to go to Comic-Con anyway? I mean, it's filled with tons of noisy, sweaty, smelly fans who all love geeky stuff and enjoy sharing it with each other and dressing up in costumes. Who wants to deal with that? What's that? You do? Well, I can't get you tickets to Comic-Con this year, but I think I got the next best thing. I know how much you enjoyed going to the local anime con a few weeks ago, and I know there's a pretty big one in LA in July, so I decided to get you tickets to that. It took me a little while to send this to you because I wanted to do a bit of research before I bought a ticket. It looks pretty huge, maybe even bigger than Comic-Con in terms of attendance. Yeah, Anime Expo is huge. It's like the biggest anime con ever. There's like, this is the con, you know what I mean? For anime, it's the con. So, oh, I'm so excited. A reading up on it and seeing reviews online from people who have gone, it seems to be well worth it. Definitely something you should experience at least once. You just need to plan ahead so you don't get overwhelmed with everything. For example, you'll probably want to pick up your bag at the, the Thursday before so you can, if you can, so you don't have to wait in line forever the day of. Since I didn't know what since I didn't know what day you'd be free to go, you probably don't know yet either either or what the schedule looks like for each day. I got you a four day fast so you can go any or all days of the con. Have fun. Not sure about parking situation or how close you'll be to the convention center, so I think I'll leave transportation to you. Of course you might be hesitant to go on such a busy con by yourself. Who wouldn't be? So I will also get a ticket for one person that you'd like to take with you. It could be one of the girls, Zach, or even your sister, or someone you meet in LA. Just let me know who and I will get a pass for them as well. Don't you dare, Emma. I messaged you too, and I was actually planning on taking my little cousin his name's Mikey, and I was going to get it for a uh, ticket for him for his 8th grade graduation present. He's really into anime that may or may not be my doing. He's obsessed with Naruto, and I feel very proud. Me and his mom were talking, and I really wanted to take him, and she's trusting me with a child in LA for a weekend, and that's kind of a big deal for me. Like, I feel pretty responsible. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be taking my little cousin, and we've been talking about what we want to dress up as, I think, because one of the days we're for sure doing a Naruto day, because Naruto. I want to be an Akatsuki member, I'm not sure which one, probably Itachi, and he wants to be Kakashi, and my little heart. I also want to dress up as Yami Yugi, but I need a fucking Millennium Puzzle. Uh, Tardis Grant tagged me in a video saying I can make my own. I'm gonna attempt to make my own Millennium Puzzle. Fingers crossed I don't fuck it up. <laughs> and the third day I'm not so sure. I did like a Twitter thing and see what people want me to dress up as. And a lot of people want me as Ruby Rose or Blake. 
I'm more of a Ruby, let's be honest. I also want to dress up as Lucy from Fairy Tale because in a previous unboxing, someone sent me all the keys. So I'm like, I have all the keys and I can just use Nikki's wig from hell to as Lucy and just, it'll be great. <laughs> um, I haven't figured out all of the things yet and my cousin, he wants to dress up as Shin from uh, Parasite with a little hand thing. I need to either like just get like a googly on, eye on his hand or some shit or like maybe if there's like a prosthetic thing I can make his hand all fun. But yeah, no, we've been talking about it all day. We're so excited. This process was easier. I just need a name. You might not know everyone's availability yet, so if you can let me know by the middle of June or so that will work. I probably won't buy it until June anyway. I'm attempting to be physically, financially responsible. Good job, Emma. Please continue to be financially responsible. I'm also including the email and registration information in case you need to reprint the tickets or something. I remembered to use Gmail this time, so feel free to update your login. I'll be sending a package as Comic-Con approaches with some goodies you guys can use the con and some tips on what you to see and do. I know, it, I'm like an expert, right? So ex so ex so excited to put together a Comic-Con care package for you guys. It looks like I'm going to be a way too busy to go anywhere this summer with work, weddings, etc. going on, other than the occasional weekend trip to Austin or San Antonio or something. I know, baller living, am I right? So at least I can help other people have some fun. I don't know if you guys had any trouble printing your tickets for Comic-Con or anything, or if you had the chance, but like I said, if you have any issues, let me know. Also, you might get someone to drive you on the day, but if you need help with parking, I've also entered in the parking permit lottery, so you're guaranteed a permit if you purchase one between May 22nd and May 28th. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, I don't know the parking situation in downtown San Diego, so you might all have to beat that covered. I know this letter has been mostly boring and heavy on instructions, but I also want to say that Black Canary Bash was great and hilarious, and Cocktails with Consuela Canary. I was laughing so hard. You guys are the best. I only wish y'all that you have all the success you deserve, but maybe these gifts will show a small token of my appreciation. Have a great summer. Yours, Emma. P.S. There's a new Beauty and the Beast soundtrack, if any of you haven't heard it. It's amazing. I've already ripped the song, so I don't need it anymore. Aww. Oh, it's here. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. I'm so, 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 so extremely excited. Emma, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I messaged you and said how thankful I was, but I don't think you really understand how fucking grateful I am. Like, I really needed this after, after the whole internship thing when I literally wanted nothing to do with anything and I really didn't feel like recording especially with the Doctor Who and a lot of people hate me because I wasn't really in the mood to get in front of a camera and fake a smile and so yeah this was much needed and I'm, thank you thank you so much and thank you everyone for sending us anything um, to our P.O. box or even letters or anything like that just thank you thank you thank you so much and I love you all and don't worry Brianna Mae will vlog Anime Expo. So, see you guys later.